What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you how I fully optimized my laptop here for maximum FPS in chapter 3 season 3. I'm going to show you a brand new tool guys which is going to help you to optimize your whole entire laptop with literally one click. That's all it takes and it's super super easy and also safe to use. So therefore guys if you enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic. And in this first step guys I'm now going to show you a tool which is going to help you out to fully optimize your laptop with literally one click. All you guys got to do is click here onto tweaks and then we already can see here recommended selections desktop laptop or minimal and since we're on the laptop we're gonna click onto it and you can see all the essential tweaks are already applied which is going to help out so so much to boost here our performance on our laptop and i'm just gonna show you how you can get your hands onto it and in this next step guys what i want you to do is open up my website guys which you can find as a first link in the description and on the topic guys we have no fps boost and play stretch resolutions and what are we going to do is click onto fps boost then after you get redirected guys there should be a post here on the top with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now then you should get redirected we're going to simply scroll down a little bit until you can find this download button guys which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can download a very specific file guys and then you should have the following file here on your pc guys which is called powershell we're going to open it up and in there should be a comment prompt which we're going to open up as well and now we're going to take a look at chris titus windows tool and youtube shout out guys this is the official link of him of the creator youtube shout out guys as mentioned that we have the website if you need like any more support afterwards but what we're going to do is actually copy this comment now guys close this close this one here as well go into our windows search bar and type in powershell and then we should have now windows powershell right click onto it and run it as an administrator click onto yes and then we should have this window here and then we're going to post exactly the same comment in here press enter and then we should have chris titus tax windows utility pack and this is pretty much like an advanced deep loader which is going to help us to fully tweak our laptop here guys with one click what are we going to do is click here onto tweaks guys and then we already have recommended selections for desktop pc laptop or minimal and we're going to click onto laptop and you can see everything which is pretty much like necessarily here for laptop is already selected Something like disable location tracking, disable activity history, disable Wi-Fi sense, disable telemetry. Uh, also create a restore point for you instantly guys. So therefore before these tweaks even get applied, you already have a restore point guys. You don't have to worry about anything. So therefore this is simply the greatest tool I ever tried out here. Huge shout out again, Chris Titus. Like literally this is amazing. Then we also have disable storage sense, disable game DVR, pretty much like anything which is not necessarily on a laptop specifically guys, which is going to just slow it down and decrease our performance in fortnite is going to get automatically disabled which is so so nice so yeah once we're on here guys we're going to click here as mentioned onto laptop and then we have run tweaks and i'm just gonna click onto it but real quick actually check if my obs um, will still record and you should see now that everything should be slowly applied here on our pc you can see everything is getting changed here all the unnecessary servers are getting um, disabled or overwritten and we can see now everything is done tweaks are finished and now we're going to click here onto OK. Everything is already fully applied, guys. So therefore, we don't have to worry about anything anymore. Then we also can go here onto config, guys. And if you are maybe missing out on any of these tools here, you can get them straight up from here. Or if your Windows update is bugging or some stuff like that. So therefore, this is actually such a crazy tool for what it is, guys. Because you get so much information out of this. And you have so many nice features like resetting your Windows update. You know, like on my old PC, this was actually bugging. So therefore, using a tool like this can actually solve this for you just in case if you need like maybe some more settings here or some more tweaks on your pc and this is absolutely free by the way like keep that in mind guys and then once we're done with this here guys we can already close it now you know close here as well our partial and just simply restart our pc and we're already done here with this step so you guys and what are we going to do now in the first place is open up here actually our nvidia control panel or our normal amd catalyst panel i think that's how it's called again on amd and what you guys want to make sure in the first place is that if your laptop actually has multiple GPUs, let me explain. Like the built-in one from like, like processor, you can see guys, I have integrated graphics actually because I have a Ryzen 9 here on this laptop, I think a 5900X. And I also do have an RTX 3070 mobile version in here. And which problem I had in the first place, guys, was that this one was set onto integrated graphics once I actually launched the laptop, you know. And I was going into Fortnite and I was wondering why my FPS is so bad. Like this laptop is a 3070, it should be fire, you know. So therefore, what are you going to do, guys, is open up your normal NVIDIA control panel. And here under manage 3D settings, you're going to click onto it. And there we have now global settings and program settings. And what I want you to do, guys, in the first place is going onto preferred graphics processor and make sure that 
this one is put onto high performance Nvidia processor or if your laptop has an AMD card high performance AMD processor and you're going to click onto it guys and just make sure that this one is selected and you're going to do exactly the same thing here under programs guys and actually at Fortnite or especially that game which you want to play guys you know I just selected here my Fortnite Windows 64 shipping exe and also make sure that this one is specifically set to high performance Nvidia processor super super important guys yeah you're going to go here onto add and then you have like a full entire list here you can also go into browse and just search for your laptop and add the game manually and then once you get it in here make sure that it's actually set to nvidia processor then we're gonna go back here onto global settings guys and also make sure that you copy all of my settings here guys image sharpening should be off ambient occlusion as well off then next up off 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 um cuda gps you're gonna leave on all low latency mode i figured out here on my laptop specifically guys actually putting it onto off works better this is again like personal preference guys you gotta like try it out because every single laptop is gonna work differently with this one you know like i don't know maybe a laptop with a 1650 this one set to ultra actually works better than here on mine guys so therefore yeah you gotta like try out both of these here i keep it on off then next up we have your power management which we're going to put on prefer maximum performance guys shader cache you're gonna leave on driver default texture filtering quality you're gonna put onto high performance guys also super super important yeah not only on performance high performance and then for the rest you can also just copy everything here guys and then for vertical sync guys again depending on your monitor if it has like g-sync or free sync or if it's even above like 60 hertz i would just leave it here on to use the 3d application settings because if in fortnite v-sync is disabled it's not going to be enabled you know or you could also like fully entirely like turn it off but i figured out while browsing actually on my laptop specifically like i'm right now here on my normal screen because yeah i just plugged in like a hdmi cable um, if I use it on my normal laptop screen itself, it actually helps like through normal browsing. So therefore, yeah, leave it just simply here on use the 3D application settings, guys. Then we're going to click here on to apply and everything should be changed now. It's only going to take like a few seconds and you can see everything is just as it should be. Then we can close our NVIDIA control panel settings and now let's continue with the next step. And in this next step, guys, what I want you to do is open up your device manager. So therefore, what we can do is click here onto our Windows search bar, tap in device until we find the device manager, open it up itself guys and there we should see now somewhere here system devices we're going to open it up and in there you can see a list of literally like any controller which is installed here on your pc we can see something like amd ryzen masters device asus wireless radio control and yeah in there we should actually have you now somewhere the high precision event timer guys and trust me on windows 10 and windows 11 disabling the high precision event timer actually can increase your performance since this service is like super old from like previous windows versions something like like windows 7 windows 8 and they just brought it over and it's not even necessarily anymore and i already did like a full-on video explaining why the high precision event timer is unnecessarily and actually decreases your fps so therefore what are we going to do is right click onto it and go onto disable device guys like you can literally google this yourself high precision event timer fps drops and you will insta find like so much things about it so therefore trust me there guys this is like one of these processes which you want 100% actually turn off and once we're done with that guys we can just simply close here our device manager and we're already good to go here for this step as well and yeah guys then afterwards i just hopped here actually into the background playing some trio arena here in fortnite as you can see guys and i gotta say especially trio arena is way more hardware demanding in comparison to like normal solos or duos so therefore keep that in mind guys and you can see we have beautifully here above 240 fps in most of the cases of course here if you are like inside rave cave we can see that our fps are dropping a little bit but that's like normal because this pure white is like so filled up with random stuff and items so therefore yeah that's like normal guys but outside of it you can see i had beautiful fps by the way also some pretty fire clutch here in the background i won't be freed basically a trio and yeah i just gotta say the game performance was really really good so therefore guys you can see here no issues whatsoever and i hope that you enjoyed this video and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this wrap up so you so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace